Well, how do that, chums? As you can see, I'm inside of No Man's Sky yet again. And I'm playing this new Echoes update. I've already got my magic wand. This little kitty in my hand there. Let's uh, let's just zoom back in again. What am I being shot by? Oh, nothing. My hasn't my um, life support's just run out of juice. We're going to replenish that. Now, talking to these little autophagy type chaps, sometimes. They ask you for assistance. Sometimes you have to talk to them first, but there you go, offer assistance. And they're going to give you a mission. You see here that they're offering up a void moat. OK, so after you've done all the story and lore, this is what they offer you. So if you hit start mission, here we go. Chicka boom. Now, he wants me to locate a lost autophage. Once found the autophage uh, in their rebuilding. All right, fine. Now, sometimes these missions automatically complete because I've already got the bits and bobs on me. But this one, I'm going to have to do this mission. So let's go into the log and see what I've got to do. OK, in Hiroki system, my assistance in repairing another autophage unit. They've provided me with the coordinates of the last known location. So I've just got to go to my ship. I've got to fly there. I'm just going to put down a beacon here so I know how to get back, just in case it doesn't give me a marker, but it should. It hasn't failed me yet, but I'm just putting that down there as a it's not of a measure. So all you need to do is do the mission. Now, a lot of these missions are procedurally generated, so yeah, it's, 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 it's not a given just how quickly you can do these missions or whatever in, but there we are. Let's just leg it over here. It's only like a little way away, only six odd seconds or so. Approximate location, though. Oh, great, and it's a storm, too. Yeah, it makes it a bit tougher, doesn't it? Well, let's, uh, let's just set it down here. Although that looks like that's the location I need to be at anyway, right just here on the hill, I think. Let's, let, let's set it down here and let's see if I'm right. Right, let's jump on out of the ship. Lovely jubbly. Come on. Boom. And scan. Boom. There we are. We've got loads of people here. Let's hit this up. Pow. And reassemble, reassemble, reassemble. Oh no, I need antimatter housing. All right, let's make some antimatter housing then. Boom! Antimatter housing. There you are. Chicka pow. Done. Let's go fix this. I'll show you what you can use those avoid moats for in a moment, people. Now, I think I might have found a way to get all the void moats super quick and to unlock all this stuff like really, really quickly. But anyway, I'll show you that in a second. There you go, feed the Atlantium. 17. Hmm, I wonder if we can unlock more of the actual code now. Now, I could talk to these, but I don't know what happens if I do and whether it might sort of uh, scupper the mission that I'm on. So I'm just going to fly back over there. It doesn't overly matter. And it looks like it's put an actual uh, marker there for me anyway. So you, you know what? I could put a beacon there and I can come back and chat to these guys later, can't I? So let's take on off. Let's fly on over that way. Oh, if you can hear like children in the background, I've got my windows open because it's really hot today here in the UK. My neighbours have got kids. I haven't got kids. That's not my own kids that you can hear if you can hear them. I mean, my mic is facing towards me. It's supposed to cut out everything in the background. So hopefully that's happening. Anyway, let's head on over this way. Yeah, let's uh, fly on down here and let's land. And I have to rescan this area to get the guys to reappear again with my magical wand. And like I said, I've made a video on how to get this wand already. However, it is about an hour and a half long. There's two parts. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fun one. OK, here we are. So we've already visited him, but we need to complete the mission with him. Oh, I like his head. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hand in mission. OK, so now I've been given this void moat stuff. Now, if you take it to this little sort of vending machine over here, you can swap it. It's almost like, you know, when you go to those pleasure arcades or whatever. Yeah, look at all this. Look at all this. I, can, I can't afford any of this. Or can I? I might try a little cheat him and cheat cheat and see if I can get them all. Because, look, you can get all sorts of other sorts of weirdness for your staffs. You can get all sorts of heads. You can get all sorts of looks. Now, it would take you quite a long time to unlock all of this. There's void moats here as well. OK, interesting. All right, fine. Um, I'm going to see if I can do a little cheat him and cheat cheat because inside of my actual inventory now, you can see here I've got 856 of these. So let's see if I can do this. All right, so let's get a portable refiner, put down said portable refiner, go over to said portable refiner. You don't need to fuel it. And I'm going to see if I can put those new moats inside of there. I think it would be at the bottom of my list. I could be wrong. I might have even gone past it already. Probably have. OK, well, let's go through and let's see if we can spot these moats. Can I put the moats inside of this? I mean, it's picking up loads of my inventory space. 
I mean, it's quite, it should be quite, there it is, a void moat. We put that in there. Okay, now we're not going to take it out. What we're going to do is we're going to put another portable refiner on top of there, like that. Okay. Then we're just going to do the same again. Pow. And again. Pow. And again. Let's see if they've patched this out. Because if they haven't patched it out, it's an in-game mechanic. So, you know, some people might say this is a duplication method. I say it's a feature. I mean, if all the other bugs inside of the games are features, then, you know, you've got to take the features as features, haven't you? So here we go. Let's just keep plowing these on top of each other. Like that. And let's just keep sticking them in over and over and over and over and over again because I've got the positioning just dandy, which you need. They need to be exactly on top of each other, just like I'm doing in this demonstration, people. Now, I can put down a heck of a lot of these. I can put down another 21 of them if I wanted. Oh, there we go. I've put down enough. Let's go on over and let's just see if it still works. So every time I pick this up, look at my void moat count going right up. They haven't patched it out, people. It's still a thing. I've now got freaking thousands, freaking thousands of uh, void moats. Okay. So they haven't patched it out. So it's still in game. It's still a feature. It's still a game mechanic. And uh, yeah, that's 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 fun. Now you might want to earn this your own way, but you know, um, here we go. I'm going to stick this down again. I'm going to go on over to it. I mean, technically, it just means running loads and loads of those organic missions, or well, those sort of procedural missions. I'm going to stick that down there and do another one. There we go. Let's put that on there. I mean, I've still got to learn all the words of these guys, so I still need to go around and talk to a load. There's no cheat in that one, so I still got to do that. But you know as and when uh, there we go let's stick that in there and i'm just going to do it again and we're going to get get a shed load of void moats so i really wish hello games would patch this sort of stuff out it, it you shouldn't be able to do this but you know if it's in game it's in game and uh, yeah so there we are i mean people use glitch techniques to build bases when they haven't got the parts that's that's still a that's still a bug and still a thing that's a feature now so i'm going to say this is a feature if glitch building is a feature, this is also a feature. Here you go, let's stick these down. Lovely, lovely. And I think that's probably enough of the actual moats to completely get everything from the store. I think. If it's not, I'll probably do the rest the legit way, people. Let's just go pick these up and let's see how we get on. Boom, 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 boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely moats. Cool. It's funny, they're a secret society. Now, inside of the Freemasons, when we sort of end off rituals and things like that, and these are rituals that apparently we're doing, um, you say, so mote it be. And, you know, that, that seems to be a thing that you say inside of the Freemasons, especially when we're doing our old sort of sit-down mills and stuff, and you'd have to tap the table three times and things. And you know, there we are. Anyway, you can find out all these secrets on the lines. It, it's not really a secret society. It's a society that has secrets, the Freemasons. So here we go. Let's go into here then. Let's go and unlock a load of this stuff. So I haven't bought one of these before. I don't know what they do. So I'll buy... Oh, inventory is full. Oh, of course it would be. Let's buy all these then first. And so we haven't got so many moats. So I'm buying all the different head types. Did I miss one? I missed a couple. There we go. Cool. Done, 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 done. Dun, 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 dun. How many moats have I got? I've still got billions. There we go. Inventory full. Okay, I can't buy any more because my inventory is full. Okay, let's sell some stuff then. Uh, sell the bait sticks. Um, I don't think I'm going to go on a derelict freighter anytime soon, so I'll get rid of that as well. Um, oh, I've got a premiere just about to start, people. I'll be right back with thee. Well, do the chums, I'm back. I sold a load of stuff, so now I can buy some more stuff. Let's buy the stuff. Okay, we've got all the stuff. The stuff is all bought, apart from these. Let's uh, buy all of those. I don't know what those do. We've got some repair kits. However, I've repaired everything that needs to be repaired, so I don't think I need any repair kits. Okay, fine. Lovely and jubbly. But these ones are probably better repair kits as you're paying for them using void moats. Okay, let's head on out. So now I've got all the stuff. I've bought all the stuff, which is fantastic, isn't it? Okay, righto. I don't know what that icon is that's sort of hovering above where we are right now, but I think we're done. And I'm, I think I'm level four in my actual uh, um, alignment with this new race. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get into the new race somehow. 
the auto pages there we go so i still need to get all my sort of ratings up with these so i might do some more missions anyway even though i've just gone and unlocked everything but i still need to learn all of the lingo i've got i'm 146 words learned okay that oh that's just the next marker all right fine cool so i'm going to be pressing on with that anyway and something i haven't done yet is all of my sort of standing with the outlaws so that's something i need to start doing too people inside of the view of us so yeah probably going to be doing some more videos around getting all of my ratings up with these sort of merchants which is pretty cool but it's very easy to do you just go over to these guys that are not the ones you've already visited when you hover over them it tells you whether you visited them or not oh you look gnarly my friend and all you do is give them stuff so there you go do that and that should raise your sort of ratings with them there you go by one for that guy or if you do the missions sometimes it raises it by two or whatever you can practice language with them as well and uh, yeah so here we go dum dum dum, -dum. D -D -D. and you can learn a new word i'll learn a trade symbol please there we go and my standing keeps going up and up and up so it's pretty easy to raise your standing with these guys i might have to do like an advanced guide on raising your um, standing with these and maybe do one with outlaws as well when i've actually done some interactions with outlaws so there you go people that's how you can get all the moats shall we go on up and have a look to see what this looks like inside of the appearance modifier now people let's go and do that let's fly on up through the atmosphere i see you at an appearance modifier people in the universe i guess i will Hello chums, I am as an appearance modifier. Let's go and have a look at what we can do. I'm just going to check my save files to see what they look like. So I've got myself looking like that. I've got myself looking how I normally look, which is pretty cool. And I've also got myself in gold and blue. I don't think I'm ever going to use the gold and blue one. So I think I'm going to overwrite it with a new auto page. Let's make a new auto page. Right, eh? so there we go. We've got that one. So race, cool, it's auto page. Nice. Body shape. Can you make you can make a chubby autophage or a skinny one or whatever you want to make i might make quite a a muscular like one and there we are let's do that one then and head i've now got loads of different heads so i've got this one that's pretty cool isn't it well the one that you just saw earlier this one oh that looks like one of those like medic droids doesn't it one of the medic sort of sentinels or oh, that one the wizardy one. Oh, that's quite cool i like that one. Oh. oh. Oh, wow, well, well, that looks pretty sort of, that's pretty darn cool. Ah, I wish I could make the eyes a bit different, though. Hold on. Eyes. You have got different eyes. But it doesn't seem to be changing anything on there, does it? Does it? Or doesn't it? It's changing the outside. Okay. Um, face mask. What the? Oh, look, you've got all this sort of stuff that you can put on, too. Oh, wow. Okay. Atlas patch. Oh, wow. Well, that looks a bit like Johnny Five from Short Circuit. I was just hoping to change block casing. I was just trying to hope to change some of the colours. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks pretty gnarly now. All right, so we've now got it in the colours that I want. Oh, that looks pretty nice. I don't know whether I like the actual um, headgear, though. You know, like all the... I kind of like it just bare bare bones but then it might look good when you've got a bit of a wrap on a little bit later but yeah that, that's pretty cool anyway let's go through the other head types we've got that one not so keen on that one yeah that's all right but no I, I prefer the one that we had earlier okay we've all seen this one in a roundabout way oh my god that looks like a dog head doesn't it isn't that really cool the head of the hunt very nice Oh my days. <laughs> okay, how about this? Oh wow, that was pretty cool. I'm king of the guys or whatever. Oh that's 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 pretty awesome. That is that is pretty darn sweet, isn't it? That is. It does seem that there's not a lot of white there though. Okay, so what about if I swap the colours around then? Well that's that's just shite, isn't it? Okay, well let's um maybe the secondary colour would be better with that one, I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be picking up much white on that one for some reason. All right, fine. Well, we go on to the next head then. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a bit Iron Giant. <laughs> oh my, what the fudge is that supposed to be? It's like a little cat or something. That's quite cool. That's very cyberpunk-esque, isn't it, that one? 
And that one took a little while to load, but that looks a bit like a Star Wars droidy type thing. So I think my favourite one is probably this one. Probably that one. Okay, so face mask. Uh, I don't know whether I like that. I quite like the open neck one. Let's go for the open neck. Circular patch. Or we've got Atlas patch. I can't see where it's put in this patch. Right, there we are. And we've got eyes. We had better markings earlier. We had more white on here, didn't we? Okay, that seems to be just changing the freaking headgear now. Um, headgear markings. Why is it not giving me those white lines that I had before on the eyes? That's a bit weird. I think they might be... A, maybe there's a couple of block cases. Ah, there we go. It's block casing that I want. That's pretty cool. I quite like that one. That's all right. We'll stick with that then. Torso. All right. Let's go for... Uh, no lock, I guess. I don't know what that's all about. Red and white and black. Okay, and armor. Oh, look, there's one set that I haven't got. The Returner's Drapes. Okay, it's a shame we can't zoom out. Uh, all right, so we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. I think I'm probably going to go for some of these drapes or whatever. Let's go for that then. The Wanderer's Drapes or Elaborate Robe. I'm not so keen on all the metal plating on the Elaborate Robe. Then again, I can't really bloody see. Returner's mask. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could zoom out. I think some of this is bugged out, people. Because you can't see what you're blanking doing. You can't go all the way around or anything. So it's just guesswork. <laughs> all right, well, let's let's just have a look what we get then. Um, right, we'll go with that. Uh, let's go to gloves. Okay, well, at least you can see these. What have we got there? Chevron. Mm, okay. Inverted. Block. And uh, let's put in red and... Oh, that's pretty cool. The lines on him. Very nice. Legs. Okay. Let's go for red and white on there. Got chevron. Okay, nice. Block. That's what I've been going for on a lot of the others. So maybe I'll go for block again. Oh, no. I like stripes. Stripes are cool, aren't they? Go for stripes. Armoured leggings. You've got all sorts going in. Sleek leggings, industrial leggings. Very cool. Not that you can see the leggings underneath all of that. Okay, I'll go for them ones. All right, so boots. Cool. Uh, we've got space boots. No, they don't look good. We want some robotic type ones. And that, oh, you just got construct feet. Okay, so we can put chevrons on. I think I'll go for stripes again. I'll go for red, white and black. There we go. Good for stripes. Nice. What's that? Slight rust. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of slight rust on the feet. That makes sense, doesn't it? Backpack. Oh, my days. We've got loads of jetpack trails that are all sort of um, locked out at the moment. I think maybe... You know the one that puts out a load of smoke? That might be good, mightn't it? Or is that only for ships at the moment? I think it's only for ships. How comes I haven't got the one that I really like? The glit oh, Glitch Reality. I'm already on it. That's cool. Retro Jetpack. I like the Retro Jetpack style. That's more my thing. But you know what might be good? Is it actually having a cape with this one? Yes, I think having a cape with it could be the way forward. Which cape do I want, though? We've got a stripey one. I don't know where we've got a stripey one. We've got that. Mm, I don't like any of those ones. That one I kind of like. That one's quite cool. But I think I might just stick with this one. Heck yes. I'll go with that one. And let's put that last one on black, though. And then banner. I think I'll probably stick with this banner for now, people. That's all right, isn't it? There we go. That's my new droid. Doesn't he look wonderful? Doesn't he look awesome? Um, yeah, he kind of does, doesn't he? Kind of looks awesome. Don't know about the actual eyes, though. Um, eyes. Uh, that's... That's that's probably a bit better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we are. And not just yet. Oh, no, I didn't save the changes. I needed to save it in a slot. That's why I hit back and we lost all of the changes. 
But there you go, people. I can go and redo all of that. Not that I, I'm probably not going to. I'm probably going to stick with this anyway. I'm, I'm kind of happy with Captain Steve looking this way, especially since all my merch is looking like this now as well anyway. But yeah, I might go back in there. I might retool myself up just to be a robot for Friday's weekend mission running. But then again, I'm not doing the weekend mission run this Friday, people. Uh, or if I am, it's going to be extremely late at night. I'm going to a 50th birthday party. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.